supplies, teachers. Well, today marks my sixth month here at Native Camp. That's why I decided to make an honest review about the salary, bonuses, tutor support, the students, and everything you need to know about this company. Well, I'm going to be covering both pros and cons to avoid bias. Even though, in my opinion, Native Camp is the best ESL company in the Philippines. Of course, I must still cover the downside or the cons or the disadvantage of being a Native Camp teacher. So the goal of this video, of course, is not to attack Native Camp, but the goal is to educate aspiring teachers and to set your expectations before you apply in this company so that you would be able to, you know, um, come up with a decision of whether or not this company is for you. And just a disclaimer, the things that I will be sharing are solely based on my opinion, my thoughts, my experiences, basically subjective information. Well, after watching this video and you still want to be a part of Native Camp, all you have to do is send me an email at askteacherkaren at gmail.com. I'll send you tried and tested tips to pass all on your first take. And to my future private class students all over the world, you can get in touch through email, WeChat, or my line. Um, my contact details are also found on the description box. So you guys, let's get started. Category number one, the application process. So let's talk about the pros first. What I love about the Native Camp application process is the fact that you can go through it at your own pace. No one's going to force you, right? No one's going to pressure you to do it all on one day. All you have to do is simply go to the, the application website, fill out all the information, um, schedule your system check, schedule your demo, and take the online training. And in my opinion, uh, the application process is empowering because it gives the responsibility of, you know, getting into the company to the teacher. You know, uh, it's not really something like you have to wait for the recruiter to call you. You have to wait for an interviewer to call you. Everything is basically your accountability. So um, right from the very beginning, your expectations are already said that, hey, this is the culture in Native Camp. You have to be independent. You have to learn how to figure things out on your own. And actually, uh, when I applied to Native Camp, it only took me about three days. Three days, not because it was difficult to apply back then, but because I needed about a day or two to study, to self-study and prepare for the demo lesson. But I've already made a video on how you could apply in Native Camp in just like under one or two days. So I hope you could also check it out. So let's talk about the cons. What's the bad side of the application process? Um, for me, it's just so irritating to wait on queue without knowing how long you have to wait. Uh, what do I mean by that? So if you would have to, to schedule a system check, you know, for them to check your internet speed, to check your audio and video quality, and to give you like a short interview, you have to fall in line and wait on cue. And basically it could take like a few seconds, a few minutes to a few hours to a long time, like what, two hours, three hours for a system check. It depends. That's why for the people whom I've referred to Native Camp, I always recommend that you guys wait on queue as early as nine in the morning, um, Philippines time. Now, uh, same goes with the demo. Um, I've had, uh, I've referred people who had to wait for about four or six hours just for an admin, just for um, an interviewer to show up during their demo class. So that's, for me, the only downside of the application process, the waiting time. You don't know if you're going to get lucky or you you won't get lucky for, for, for that attempt. So... Again, for tips on how to, you know, uh, conveniently apply in Native Camp, all you have to do is to check out my videos. I've already included everything that you need to know there. Category number two, 
work culture. You know, teachers, it's important that before you get yourselves into any ESL company, you know the work culture because you know if it's right for you, you know if something is too toxic for you, you know if an ESL company is flexible or not, you would know if you would have to, you know, spend so many hours for that company in a week and so on. So for the work culture in Native Camp, this is actually what I really love. First thing that I'd like to share in terms of the pros is that Native Camp in general, um, is pro teacher, pro teacher. What do I mean by that? You know, based on my experience, I never felt as if I was like a machine that Native Camp doesn't care uh, about my 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 personal issues. Especially now that I'm like eight and a half months pregnant, and I've been with a company throughout my crazy high risk pregnancy. So there were times when I had to be absent. I had to. You know, like cancel my book classes, but I didn't get fired. I um, I didn't get a warning letter. I even sent a letter to Native Camp apologizing for having to cancel my classes due to my high risk pregnancy. And you know what they said? They said, okay, take as much time as you need um, when it comes to taking a break from, from this job and feel free to book classes as soon as you're ready. We hope you and your baby will be fine or will be okay. So my point there is, okay, this is a company that actually treats me like a person because I'm used to having a boss from my previous ESL company saying that, okay, I know you just had a miscarriage last March 2021, but when can you go back to work? Okay, uh, I know you have an emergency. Your husband was rushed to the hospital, but you need to work tomorrow. Can you do that? Okay, so that's these circumstances are the reason why I, I, I learned that Native Camp is, in general, pro-teacher. They value you as a person. They won't pressure you to open schedules. They won't pressure you to take as many classes as possible. And speaking of taking as many classes as possible, actually, Native Camp doesn't care. You have all the flexibility that you need in this company. Native Camp doesn't have a required number of hours per week, unlike other ESL companies wherein you have to work like 15 hours or 20 hours in a week. So what if you're just doing this as a side job, as a part-time job? It'll be quite challenging if there's a required number of hours. Um, also, when it comes to the work culture, this company encourages independence you have to know how to work by yourself you know why because you don't have a boss you have to figure out how to resolve problems on your own you have to plot your schedules you have to manage your time wisely and make sure you're never later absent because everything is your accountability in native camp you are your own boss that's why again the work culture here is all about independence now, uh, speaking of the cons in terms of work culture, uh, honestly speaking, I couldn't think of anything. Like, seriously, there's nothing I could think of because one of the reasons why I love this company is because of their culture. I feel like a person. I feel that I'm in control. I feel that I can still... Uh, take good care of myself and my baby. I can spend quality time with my family, unlike other ESL companies where they will force you to work a number of hours. They will take it against you when you want to take the weekends off because usually the weekends are 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 basically the time when there there's the most number of students, right? So the, it would be taken against you if you don't work on weekends but not here in native camp nobody's pressuring you if you want to succeed here the pressure the motivation should come from yourself and it's never going to come from native camp they're not going to force you to do something that you don't want to do category number three salary incentives and bonuses let's talk about the pros for the pros well I can say that Native Camp is one of the highest paying ESL companies here in the Philippines. Of course, if you are a native speaker, 
your salary bracket will be completely different from us. Um, the starting salary here is 80 pesos per class, which is 160 pesos per hour. If you're a native speaker, it'll be like times five of that, times five or times six of that, if I'm not mistaken. So please do not compare your salary with a near native speaker salary because they're completely different. So speaking as a Filipino teacher, well, um, the salary is higher compared to others. And the great thing about it is that the salary increase is so attainable and super duper easy. You can get a salary increase every two weeks. And that's exactly what happened to me. Every two weeks, my salary would increase by four pesos simply because I didn't get low star reviews. I didn't get a one or a two star review. And I was able to have 10 to 20 book classes. By simply meeting that that criteria, I was able to get a four peso increase every two weeks until I reached the ceiling, which is 104 pesos per class, which is 208 pesos per hour. Imagine that, teachers. 208 pesos per hour as compared to other ESL companies paying their teachers, what, 78 pesos per hour, 120 per hour, 150 per hour. That's still a big difference if you're going to compare to 208 pesos per hour. Another pro, uh, oh, one more thing. Uh, when it comes to the salary increase in other ESL companies, just to share with you, you have to wait a few months to get a salary increase. You have to beg your boss to give you a salary increase, or you have to complete X number of classes before getting a salary increase. And X number of classes would be around 1,000 classes, 2,000 classes, 3,000 or 6,000 classes before you get like a four or a five peso increase crazy right so in native camp from 80 pesos i started earning 104 pesos per class 208 pesos per hour on my third month imagine that no need to stay here for years for months no need to complete x number of classes just easy breezy do your job well and you're going to be getting a salary increase now in terms of of uh, bonuses. I love the fact that it's so easy to get uh, 1,100 every two weeks uh, when it comes to uh, the no cancellation incentive, that's 550 pesos, and lesson incentive, if you were able to have 100 classes in two weeks, you're going to get another 550. That's a total of 1,100. And it's quite attainable, very easy. And I also earn an additional 2,000 to 5,000 pesos every month as an elite teacher. That's an additional incentive for teachers who are always fully booked, an incentive for popular teachers, or an incentive for their talented teachers. So what I'm trying to say is if you're a passionate ESL teacher and you really show Native Camp that you're taking this job seriously, they're going to reward you for that. And that's going to be what you call the elite teacher incentive. And I'm totally in love with that. Other than that, by referring other teachers, by, by that teacher simply taking their first class, you're instantly going to get 550 pesos. That teacher doesn't have to take 100 plus classes before you get your bonus because many, if not most ESL companies would wait for that teacher to like, you know, take 100 plus classes or 50 plus classes before you get your bonus. If that teacher you refer didn't get X number of classes, you won't get any bonus. Right. Even though you already did the legwork, you already trained the person and helped the person get in, you won't get a peso or a dime. OK, now, uh, in terms of the cons, speaking of the cons of salary, um, not really much of a fan of the 10 percent service fee. Uh, the 10% service fee that we pay is not really tax, but really more of uh, the service fee we pay Native Camp for letting for them letting us use their website, their tools, their support, their training materials, and so on. So let's say your salary for the month is uh, for the for the cutoff rather 
your salary for two weeks is uh, 15,000 pesos. They will deduct 10%, which is 1,500 pesos. You will only be able to take home 13,500. So if there's a con that I'd share about the salary, that would be it, but it's okay. I'm still happy to earn 208 pesos per hour, less the 10%. You just do the math. And uh, I'm quite contented with the salary that I get as um, a part-timer in this company. So before we head on to the next category, this is actually a two-part video because I don't want you to feel drained watching a super duper duper long YouTube video. That's why I have prepared a series for this. Actually, not a series. There's only part one and part two. I hope you would stay tuned for part two because for part two, I will be covering the tools, the training, the students, the booking rate, as well as the tutor support in this company. And uh, definitely you would want to watch that because before you apply in this company, you must know what you're getting yourselves into, just like what I've mentioned earlier. So today we have covered the first three categories, the application process, the work culture, and the salary. I hope that uh, the first three categories has inspired you to be a part of Native Camp. Again, even though, even though there are cons, because no ESL company is perfect, even though there are cons, I would say with all confidence that I love Native Camp, that I am loyal to Native Camp. And what I love about Native Camp is the independence that they give you. They are not controlling. You can work for other ESL companies and they wouldn't care. You would, you could decide not to work for a week, for two weeks, for three weeks. They wouldn't care. You could decide to just take one or two classes in a day. They won't care. <laughs> Your success in this company solely depends on your efforts. You determine your success here. So if you take this job seriously, then it will also treat you seriously. If you treat Native Camp with love, they will also send you back some love. I became an elite teacher without doing anything. I got an additional 2,000 to 5,000 pesos bonus every month without asking anything from Native Camp. They just gave it to me because I was a passionate teacher working hard almost every day for a few hours in Native Camp. So the energy that you give Native Camp is the energy that you receive. You give them love, they give you love. You give them hate, they give you hate. So I hope you guys would stay tuned for part two. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Teach a Karen at Gmail. Or rather, what? I'm sorry, it's already 5.52 in the morning. I haven't slept yet. Please subscribe to my channel, Teach a Karen, and uh, hit the bell icon to get notified for new video uploads, usually on Saturdays and um, Wednesdays. To those of you who'd like to be a part of of the this company, all you have to do is send me an email at askteachakaren at gmail.com, and I'll send you tried and tested tips to pass. Be a blessing to the people around you, and I'm going to see you on part two. Bye-bye.